it's Thursday morning. It's quarter past ten. And I am trying to get through my to-do list, which is basically all these things, um, before I go to work. Um, I'm really excited because my new website went live yesterday, um, about five o'clock yesterday. And I've just been like share, share, sharing it everywhere, like trying to get everyone to click through and have a wee swatch. I basically decided before Christmas that I really wanted to write a book and so I started it with the intention of writing like a really long book but then I kind of got a bit impatient and I thought it's probably a bit more like instead of tackling that huge task it's probably a good learning experience to just write a short one and then actually release it and get feedback and see how it does so I have written a, a really short ebook. It's called Not Another Depression Pamphlet because it's not another depression pamphlet. It's my story and it's my um, experience with um, going through a mental breakdown at age 26, I think I was. Um, all the kind of things that helped me get through it. It's, it's half um, kind of anecdotal and half practical because wanted it to be something that people would read and first of all identify with and then be able to kind of take, not necessarily take action because I know when you've got depression it can be really hard to um, be kind of proactive but for those days when you do feel ready there's some like hints and tips of you know little things you can do to maybe help your recover, help your recovery um, got on the right path. Obviously I'm not a medical professional and I explain that in the book like I can only tell you what worked for me. Um, so in that way it's kind of more like a memoir, like a very short 20 pages, very short um, account of my experiences and how I've came out the other side and I have. Like even though I still talk about anxiety and depression I still have those issues but like I can live my life now um, and I'm so proud of myself for that and I will never forget <clears throat> how hard it was to get through that. So I hope I haven't patronised anyone by writing this book, it wasn't my intention. I just want everyone to know that um, recovery is possible and you don't have to be alone because people like me went through it too. and. I am now at a stage where I'm happy to talk about it. So, the point being, please, 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 if you only do one thing, just go and look at my website. That That's all I want. I want people to go and look at the website and have a skim over. All the old blog posts are still there. It's just slightly redesigned and um, easier to use. So, go have a look there. And if you find something that, that interests you, then I, I recommend you download the ebook and have a quick look through even if it's just because you're nosy and you just want to see what it looks like um, I don't blame me for that I've done that a couple of times with people I know or bloggers that I've followed who have released something I think hmm, I wonder what that's like so feel free to go and download it um, like I say that's why I set up the new website because the old website I was on was very easy to use but not very um, customisable for things like this so now you can go there and you can get, download it like that straight to your inbox so please go and do that to Scotland tonight so I'll probably be feeling a bit anxious later on my trains at like 7pm 7, 7 ish so probably be feeling pretty anxious from about 4 o'clock onwards so if I can go to the gym between 3 and 4 that'll burn off some of my nervous energy which is a good tip if you have anxiety it does work for me you should give it a go um, if you're feeling anxious go to the gym or go for a walk or go for a run go outside like get burn off that excess energy that you've got because that's what it is um, it's energy that doesn't really know where to go so I think I'll do that and then come home and pack I have so much stuff to pack and then, um, then I'm going to um, 
home tonight and then I'm going to Fort William for the weekend which is like a lovely picturesque town in Scotland so I'll try and get some footage even just of how nice the scenery is there and I'm so excited to like absorb all that Scottish air not because it's Scottish but I don't know if this affects any of you but when I feel kind of stressed and anxious I just crave um, the outdoors like I feel like nature has this amazing effect on my brain like it just heals me it just makes me so calm and so grateful for what I have um, so I'm looking forward to standing in the countryside and looking at the mountains and just breathing in that good fresh Scottish air and also I get to see one of my best friends so that'll be good William Town. Yep. Going to see what's happening. Probably not a lot. No. What temperature does it do you think? It's like 10 degrees maybe. Yes. Loving it. Scotland. <laughs> been in Scotland now for like a week and I just thought I would end this vlog quickly. Um, yeah, I had a really good time in Fort William with Jess and now I'm in Scotland for my brother's wedding. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like more videos. Yeah, please subscribe if you want more videos. Like and subscribe, comment below with what you thought of this vlog. It's a bit different, I just thought I would film seeing I was in somewhere else other than Birmingham. I'm just going to enjoy my nice morning walk by the loch and I'll catch up with you soon. <laughs>